Gerard Prime over here at the bottom left. Gerard Prime. Or Gerard de Prime. That's right. It's a good Korean accent you get there, Thank you. You, you should put de and u uh at the end of words. <laughs> That's the secret to getting the Korean accent. Play <laughs> de. Remember, maps like this allow for strategies we couldn't normally see on a four-player map mm -hmm. unless you're David. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> then, yeah. uh, then apparently you can do it anyways. Absolutely. It doesn't matter what map. You just send that SCV out even earlier. That's right. Find out where he is and then do it. So. Now, what will Gerard, Gerard open with this game? I feel like he kind of bungled that Roach attack. Remember when he was attacking the bunker, he tried to target SCVs, his Roach Yeah, that game should have probably ended yeah. there. you got to really be on top of things when you're doing an all-in like that. And no, it wasn't exactly an all-in. It was kind of a counterattack to keep the Reapers out of his base. But, you know, you got to really choose what to target and go with it. Well, when I do that strat at home, if I see um, that he's got a Roach Warren, then I immediately cancel the third Reaper. And yeah. Get the bunker. Get the and, bunker and up. He had the get three the Reapers Reapers in. So and I actually thought the game was going to be done. But uh, for whatever yeah, reason... Clyde didn't had, even pull his SCVs quick enough. He had two SCVs yeah. down there for the longest time. And, you know, no capitalization. I'm not saying he would have broken through, but I'd like to see that a little bit tighter. Oh, hatch, hatch first. first. That's gutsy. Sup. Sup, sup. Now, normally we don't see hatchery first because there's so many ways Terran can punish it, but... Yeah, uh, if you go barracks before depot, you're in dead. fact, the Zerg just dies. It's like, oh, okay. Okay. Good game. GG. But honestly, otherwise, um, you know, if the Terran doesn't do that, at least the, the Zerg can get somewhat of an edge. Yeah. So it's sort of like a risky move. I mean, mm. I, I guess you could compare it to, like, when you see these uh, in Terran versus Terran, these guys that go, like, command center on 14. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, in absolutely. StarCraft 1, excuse me, not StarCraft Quick 2. Quick pull, take that out every single time. Yeah, but if not, then guess what? Flash you're, might be able to stop your links with the CVs, but no one else. Flash. Yeah, man. Did you know that in the last three OSL finals and last three MSN finals, he was in it. He won four of those. That's crazy, man. He is the sickest thing ever. I hope he does come to StarCraft 1. Does. StarCraft Star 2, yes. I'm StarCraft 2, of course. Uh, I hope he comes, man. He'd be so good. But, uh, you know, the problem here is the speed upgrade, if Gerard Prime chooses to go Zerglings with speed, is going to be just a little bit later than normal, and the Reapers might be able to do extra, extra damage in that time if he chooses to do that, but... It looks like, in fact, he's not going to. Nice! nice. Catching that Overlord. Totally excellent. That's going to hurt the Zerg early. We got a bunker on the way over here. And the Zerg is supply blocked. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. This could be really, 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 really bad. Ah, some Zerglings were made before the oh, supply block. Oh, man, that was close. Running these away. And the bunker not going to do anything. Now, if we take a look at Clyde's base, he is not going for Reaper play again. It looks like, in fact, he's going to go with Hellions. Blue Flame Hellions. Let's see. Is he going to do it? Blue Flame upgrade. Come on. Come on. You going to do it? He needs a little bit more, more gas. gas. And... One more gas. Good there you Bam. go. There you go. This strategy is pretty good. Yeah. Although, I had to say, I do think TLO's strategy is a little bit better. I, I do like this. it. Yeah. The, uh, but, you know, Blue Flame Hellions, they are scary, and uh, they do put the fear of the Blue Flame in you. Well, what's interesting is when you do a bunker rush like this, the Zerg uh, is forced to get a bunch of Zerglings, which uh, Hellions with the Blue Flame are quite good against. Mm. And and then he can end up getting stuck going Lings because he's like, all right, well, I already got Lings. What now? Maybe I should get Bane Lings or Speed. And by the production tab, we can see another queen being made. Speed and on the way speed. as well. Yeah. So it uh, looks like he is actually going to get ready for these. He Getting the multiple queens, the multiple spine crawlers. Oh, oh. very nice, very nice. But anyways, all that really going to help out with guarding against these Hellions. Nice abuse of the positioning here. He's got to edge this spine crawl over here. It actually takes full advantage of that. Very nice. Thinking on his feet right there, but Queen's out, Spine Crawler's out. Oh, he he's gets in the two. He could take out a lot of drones. He's got to control perfectly, though. Very careful here with your drones, Gerard Prime. No drones down yet. Oh, and the blue flame is done. Can he get one more off? Can he get one more off? Can he do it? There's a Spine Crawler there, silly guy. Okay, goodbye. More uh, Hellions over here, though. They do have the blue flame. 
So we can't just rush in there and try to take right. out drones again. You can just ignore the spine crawlers and actually normally get quite a few drones with them. Second barracks up. Reactor on the way. Hellions still waiting, but they should be attacking pretty soon here. That's right. I think that he's going to go ahead and switch the add-ons around a little bit, get a lot of blue fallen Hellions out, and oh my, what's this flying across the map from the Terran base? A uh -oh. dropship. Guess what? Dropping blue Hellions into a Zerg base is the scariest th tasteless. It'll bring the blue It is experience. scarier than a plane plummeting towards the Earth. Okay, it is like... You see it's them. Pretty bad. Yeah, it's because there aren't going to be any spine crawlers in there. It's going to have to defend oh. everything with queens. He does have legs position here. If he can't mm. get them out right away, and he does spot it, but apparently they can shoot up ground, above ground, not into the air though. That'd be scary if they got on their backs and stuff. Oh wow, cleaning up those legs. I really love this play here by Gerard, moving his queen to the edge to stop that drop ship, while Lings try to handle the Hellions. He's got the Hellions in here. All four of them. Oh, there is a spine crawler in the main base. Very nice by Gerard. I really like this move. Oh my god, he's just cleaning up those drones. Clyde picks up the dropship. He's going over here now. A spine a spire, excuse me. I thought that was gonna be a spine crawler for a second. Um, on the way. He does drop the drones, have to move again. Wow, Gerard is doing some great defense here. That dropship solo on ah! Elden here it goes! Wow, that is such nice defense by Gerard. I have yeah. to hand it to him. Some Damn. of the best defense against that Hellion drop I've ever seen. Just absolutely great with the queens, the movements, the creep spread, the zerglings, the spine crawlers. It was great. He's getting an infestation pit. Excuse me, an infestation pit over here. Ah. Um. So he could uh, fungal growth those marines. Yeah, that's quite true as well as uh, fungal growth in blue hellions can be quite helpful at times, so they can't be microed against your zerglings. It's very interesting strategies by both players here. You don't normally see a two-base infestation pit, and the marine tank build a little bit more common, but again, uh, haven't been seeing it a lot in this tournament yet. He's going to get rid of these destructible rocks. Zerg Spire's done. Looks like we have two mutas out on the map, and only two. That's all he needs. Oh, never mind. There's a missile turret. There is a missile turret. Zerg expands over here while destroying this. That's interesting. I would have expected him to take the gold. Mm. I guess he's not entirely confident against this Terran army. Yeah, the gold is so close to the Terran. They just push yeah. right up there, get into a good siege right position. Right over here, and, especially. You know, it, it becomes very, very hard to defend that base. Ooh, sloppy play there by Gerard. Losing one Mutalist. One of his two. Yeah, the guy has no friends anymore. Well, this is interesting. He's going to expand again over here to the center left. Expand everywhere. Oh, if we look at the natural here. He, yep. It looks like a hive. A baneling nest, too. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Very, very interesting. Maybe rushing the Broodlords. I don't know why you'd want to land there. Yeah, that was... <laughs> Not the best idea I've ever seen. He does have an infester or two out. Those nasty slug trails those things leave out. Yeah, I love that stuff, man. Makes it hard it's for like them to butter hide. on my bread. <laughs> <laughs> we got a uh, plus one armor on the way over here for the Zerg, as oh. well as plus one attack. A lot of mutas still being produced. I don't see the exact plan that Gerard has in his head right now. You know, he's going hive. He has. Uh, double Evo's going. He has Infestors. Uh, he's, he's making Mutas. It's very hard to figure out exactly what he has planned here. Oh, Fungal growth time. Here we go. Oh! Nice Fungal. Two nice Fungals go up over there. Awesome. Look at that. Down goes so many Marines. Gotta love Fungal growth. Too bad he lost those Infestors, though. Very important to keep those alive. You can see here there's Creep Tumors everywhere. He controls so much of the map, so yeah. much vision and stuff. I don't think I've ever seen that many creep tumors in such a close proximity. Yeah, he's doing a great job of, of using Absolutely. those creep tumors to his best of his ability. It's really worth getting that an extra queen to just lay creep tumors and make sure you have oh, creep yeah. everywhere. It's great for scouting, great for unit movement, great for scaring your opponent. Guess what? He's going to slip over here down to this expansion over here that doesn't seem to be defended too terribly well. 
And the Zerg is going around, but I think his army's way too far out. Busy laying creep Ooh. tumors over here. No Baneling speed quite yet. Siege tanks are up. Siege tanks are up. Without Baneling speed, it's so hard to engage siege tanks. In fact, I think he should just leave that expansion be. He's trying to get Baneling speed right now. Siege tanks are out. Hitting this uh, expansion, I think he's going to have to stack it. He's yeah. going to have to drop it. No good way to defend that. So he evacuates. No expansion over here yet. He does have a drone. Now he does. At least starting to get one. He may pick up his army and try to leave. Ooh, some ultralisks being started for Gerard. Yeah. So far, none are out yet. Yeah, sadly, he has no infestors right now. You really, if it's they're going marine tank, you kind of need infestors along with those ultras. You got to make those marines stay still. Here we go! Oh, ho, ho. Nice target firing there. Getting some of the banelings, but if this one baneling touches, not good enough. Siege tanks there for backup. He moves forward, and he's going to get this expansion too. There might be too many Terran forces here for the uh, pro uh, not the Protoss. I don't know why I said that. For the uh, Zerg to get this. So many Marines moving off the map right now. I don't think he has any Banelings. Morphing 10, but will they be out in time? That was some good Baneling placement. He could take out a lot of Marines, but I just don't know if it's going to be enough. Oh, oh, losing them all before they come out. Only three of them left. Definitely not enough to kill all those units. And the Hive, the center tech structure is gone. Oh, this is huge by Clyde. I don't know if Gerard can come back from here. Planky with the Ultras. Here we go. This is going to be the final attack, I think. And, and just totally GT. slapped. That's pretty brutal. Wow. He's got more on the way as well. Clyde, easy one of the favorites here. I don't know if anybody in the tournament can stop this guy. GG. Wow. Damn. Hot damn, Clyde is good. Clyde. Whoa. That was kind of scary. Man. Clyde's like, I am so good. Am I really that good? Oh my god. <laughs> Charge like, is he really that good? Oh really my god. Good. Can't believe how good that guy is. Oh. He's like, oh my god. I can't. Am I really that good? I guess I. I guess I am. I guess I should swallow this water pretty soon here. <laughs> nope. He's getting ready. He wants his mouth. Man. Yeah. He's a fish, man. He's got a goldfish in his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Goldfish. Don't mouth. make him laugh. He might swallow it. <laughs> what, what was the player that he said? Was it Draco? You said that whenever you watch Draco's <laughs> face play, <laughs> he's got fish says like it him. looks like he's trying to hold a gold, like water in a goldfish in his yeah, mouth. Yeah, it, it does. It does. He holds his mouth. Like Go to that. land with Draco. You'll see it. Yep. And so we thought that would be the ultimate challenge would be to beat a, a, a Korean pro gamer while holding like a gold around a there, you're like tickling the you. <laughs> so um, random facts here from Tastosis. Yeah. Uh, guys, it's been a lot of fun casting these games. I'm sorry it ended so soon. Um, I, I mean, it was I, such a quick day. Sorry such about quick the technical day. difficulties, the yeah. technical steps that they were really – Really sorry about that. They are so sorry. They felt really bad. One of them really had bad. tears in their eyes when they were it saying felt It felt really bad. Uh -huh. um, so we shouldn't be having any more problems like that. That was kind of an unexpected thing. Mm. Um, we've been, you know. Everyone makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. By the way, um, check out thehandsomenerd.com. That's, uh, we got some esports related shirts for you guys there. New shirt um, on there as well. We're going to finish updating that a little bit later. Um, my Twitter. father's in town, and i uh, got to go get dinner with him right after this. So. Hopefully, Dad watched the games today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's going to know it's time to meet me. Uh, here are the match results from today's games. As you can see, uh, some of the shortest games. David, pretty sick. Yeah. Pretty sick rushes, man. Man, uh, what can I say? It, it was so quick. Everything yeah. with him was quick, man. The interview, yeah. the games, the you know everything. That guy is like fast forward. That, that's a StarCraft 2 game with a speed upgrade. <laughs> uh, Tell your friends to check out Clyde's games. By the way, buy our premium service, please, so you can watch this. Let's say you work in an office. Man, you have so many games you can watch every day. Um, That's you know, true. It's just when for the boss is there, bucks. and then you just all tab, man. You just all tab, just all tab into, okay. like, WordPad or whatever and do your little documents. And yeah, like, man, yeah, we got it. No oh, problem. I have the report on your desk you know, before I leave. Yeah, yeah no, no problem. Then you no go problem. back and you watch more VODs. And you're not getting any work done at all. That's cool, though. <laughs> we got you back. I understand it. Yeah. Uh, Alter add, excuse me, add Gum TV on Twitter. It's Gum TV Net on Twitter. We're gonna have updates about Gum TV on there. You can also follow us on Twitter. I'm Call Me Tasis. He's Artosis. That's right. And uh, we've been out here in Korea for over two years. We love esports, mm. and uh, we really, uh, Very much. you know, thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, 
And uh, we hope that the observing has improved uh, over time. I am still going to do it if I continue to suck. I will hand it over to Artosis. And if he turns out to suck too, then yeah. we will just go back to the Korean Observer. So please give us feedback and stuff. We like to see what we like to see, though. So That's we're going to hopefully keep it in the family. Yes. Uh, yes. I'm, I'm trying my best here, guys. And um, uh, is there any, anything else I have to mention? Uh, Don't, I should be mentioning this more. Um, check out my brother's show, if you haven't already, Day 9 TV. It's much more educational. We're a little bit more entertainment-focused hmm. uh, casting these games. Check out HD and Husky's games. Um, on there on their YouTube channel. Yeah. Got some great tournaments and stuff. Net. Biggest community in the English scene. Yes. And GOMTV.net, of course. Yes. Check Amazing out GOMTV.net before anything else. Because of course, yeah. And uh, yes. leave questions in the forum for the players. And I interview the winner after every single match. Yeah, and he does. you do a great job. Thank you. you even with the toughest interviewees, you, uh, you did a m I, remarkable I job. I try, man. Um, also, um, we're going to fix, not Artosis and me, but we have somebody fixing the live... Uh, chat section yeah. on the site. Uh, we understand that's down right now. We actually have a lot more staff people now for GOMTV.net um, than ever before. Yeah. So that site should definitely be improving in the future. Um, yeah. So, uh, you know, tomorrow, definitely tune in. And Snare is going to be playing. Oh, yeah. Has Zenio. A lot of people seem to like Zenio. He's a good Zerg player. He ranked very highly since the beginning. And then in Snare, perhaps the best Terran in all of Korea, perhaps in all of the world. Uh, you know, him and Mac have always been mentioned yeah. up at the top. And they, of Clyde, course, right Clyde, quite Clyde. amazing, too. Yeah. Uh, but in Snare, a and very, tasteless, very good tasteless player. Tasteless is just tasteless a few is rungs down there. extremely high up there. you got to watch uh, out. When I when I get on the internet, it's like this ripple goes through cyberspace. Yeah. Like, <laughs> computers, like, shutting down everywhere. Stuff like it's that. Blackouts so. in cities. That's right. Ah. You think that's that's natural disasters? No, that's tasteless. Like I got a battle net. It's tasteless. Uh, uh, yeah, so a lot of good games tomorrow. Definitely tune in for that. Can we love wait. you guys. Thank you so much yeah. for joining us. Join mm. us again tomorrow. We hope the games are longer. But sometimes David has to play. Yeah. And that means that we get out pretty That's quickly. It, man. Yeah. Uh, and we're basically done after this. We've got to go get dinner with my dad. So take care, guys. Much love from Korea. This is Tasis and Artosis signing out. Peace. Stay tuned, though. I have an interview coming up. Tasis is signing out. Artosis has an interview coming up.